Tone Curve is a powerful tonal control tool whose role partially overlaps to that of the tonal's controls of the basic panel. Contrast, highlights, shadows, whites and black sliders. It is not always essential to use Tone Curve. In many cases, the simpler controls of the base panel will be okay. Tone Curve, however, is more powerful and provides greater freedom. How to read this graph? The x-axis represents the tonal values of the original, unmodified image. Zero corresponds to black, the maximum value to white. The y-axis represents the tonal values of the final image, i.e. the modified image. A line that cuts the plane at 45, like this one, is equivalent to applying no modification. In fact, each value on the x-axis corresponds to the same value on the y-axis. This is the neutral line. Points above the neutral line lighten the corresponding tonal value on the x-axis. Those below darken it. The slope of the curve represents what is colloquially called contrast. For example, such an S-curve darkens dark tones, since the first half of the graph is below the neutral line and lightens light tones. In addition, the high slope at the midtones means high contrast in that region. An S-curve is equivalent to increasing the contrast in the base panel. An inverted S-curve is equivalent to reducing contrast in the base panel. As already seen, however, the contrast slider does not have the same power as the Tone Curve tool. Practical use of the Curve tool the Curve tool offers two operating modes, Parametric Curve and Point Curve. The Parametric mode is a kind of guided mode, which is less flexible than the Point mode. If you choose to use Curve, you might as well use the mode for points, which grants total freedom. Point mode allows you to act on all three RGB channels, white button, or on a single channel. Each click within the graph places a control point, which can be dragged to shape the graph. A right click on the point allows you to delete it or reset everything. Delete control point, reset channel, reset all channel. By clicking on the symbol in the upper left corner and bringing the cursor within the image, a point will appear on the graph. A single click will add that point as a control point. Clicking and moving the mouse drags it. If you prefer, you can start from one of two predefined curves, medium contrast or strong contrast. These predefined curves can also be changed at any time by simply dragging the anchor points. Or you can choose linear to reset the curve. Anchor points can also be moved by manually entering input and output values.
the curve can be deformed enough to change its slope. In this case, lighter tones in the original image will correspond to darker tones in the modified image. This is the principle of the solarization effect. Curve effect on a test image. Backlighting. High contrast in this case would not be the ideal choice. Lightening of shadows with tone curve. Acting on the individual RGB channels produces peculiar color effects. Please watch the video, A Bit of Magic with Tone Curves, for more details.